drags on, child care is becoming an issue. More and more parents need it as work from home ends, but many child care centers are struggling. 7 News is on your side. John Gonzalez is live to explain what's going on. Ashley, good morning. You know, when we talk about a crisis these days, this truly is one. The pandemic is threatening to destroy an already crippled child care system, a system that so many parents in our area rely on. Now take a look at your screen. Here is the child care crisis by the numbers and according to the National Association for the Education of Young Children, 80% of child care centers right now are short staffed and because vaccines for children 12 and under are not readily available just yet, some providers are still struggling to open and those that are well, hiring has become a tremendous struggle. Jerrica Lopez, who owns a Maryland child care center, says she worries about this crisis every day. A lot of people think that we're making so much money because it's, you know, it's a no brainer. It's a good industry to be in. But the overhead itself is it's very, very high. Um, so our margins to offer, you know, somebody that's starting out, it's they're not that big. So usually we try to go a little bit lower when the person starts because we do take care of our employees um, here. So we do give them races and things like that. And to add insult to injury, take a look at this. Providers just got notice that a federal grant is now being delayed. Checks that were supposed to come a while back are now not going to arrive until at least another month or so. Now, according to a study by the University of California, 98% of occupations pay more than a child care provider. Coming up next hour, we'll tell you why that is and how this is affecting the crisis. Much more information on our website, WJLA.com, including options parents might have, including pods, child care pods, We'll talk about that later this hour, later this morning. Reporting live in Rockville, John Gonzalez, 7 News.